Hi everyone, today we are going to study piggybacking in networking. So what is piggybacking? Now we know that mostly the transmission that takes place in networking, the transmission of data that is bidirectional or in other words it is a full duplex transmission. By full duplex tra transmission or by bidirectional transmission we mean that one host can both send and receive the data. So obviously there are always two hosts, at least two hosts involved in a communication. So both the hosts are capable of both sending as well as receiving data. So this is known as full duplex transmission or bidirectional data transmission. Now piggybacking is a method of attaching the acknowledgement to the outgoing data packets. So in all these protocols which involve sending an attachment to the sender like the go back NARQ, selective repeat ARQ, stop and wait uh, protocol, all these protocols have a method of sending the acknowledgement to the sender to uh, to in uh, to be uh, to let the sender be able to know that its packet has been received properly so any such transmissions which involve sending an acknowledgement to the sender can make use of piggybacking so piggybacking in uh, what is done in piggybacking that you attach the acknowledgement to the outgoing data packet now since we are talking of bi-directional or full uh, duplex transmission that means the sender which has sent the data would also receive the data and the receiver which has received the data will also send the data. So this is a way in which the receiver which has received the data when it wants to send its own data then it will send the acknowledgement with that particular data frame instead of sending the acknowledgement separately. That means the acknowledgement is not sent separately but along with the data frames. Now let us look at this concept in detail. So here we will see the concept of piggybacking. If I consider a two-way transmission between a host A and host B right. So we consider two hosts and we name them as host A and host B. Now if host A wants to send a data frame to host B then B does not send the acknowledgement of the frame sent immediately. Usually what happens is that the moment a frame is received by the receiver it sends the acknowledgement to the sender. But here in this case in case of piggybacking when host A sends a data frame to host B in that case, host B will not send the acknowledgement of the frame sent immediately to host A. Then, what does it do? The acknowledgement is delayed. Till what time? Until the next frame of host B is available for transmission. So, until host B is ready to send its data frame, the acknowledgement is delayed for that particular period of time. Till now, host A. A had sent the data frame to host B, right? And host B was supposed to send the acknowledgement back to host A, but host B has stopped for a period of time. Till when? Till host B is ready with the frame which has to be sent to host A because this is a bi-directional communication. So if host A is sending data frames, so can host B also so the host B can also send data frames, right? So host B will not send an acknowledgement to host A the moment it receives a frame from host A. It will delay the transmission of acknowledgement till what time? Till it is ready with the uh, frame to be sent. So the acknowledgement is delayed till host B is available for the transmission of its own frame. So the delayed acknowledgement is then attached to the outgoing data frame of B. Now when uh, host B is ready to transmit its own data frame, then the acknowledgement is attached to that outgoing data frame of host B. So this process of delaying the acknowledgement so that it can be attached to the outgoing data frame is called piggybacking. Now as the communication between host A and host B takes place, three conditions can arise. We will have a look at these three conditions. When host A has both data and acknowledgement to send, then it will attach the data along with the acknowledgement, right? So when the host A, 
uh, has both data and acknowledgement to send in that case the acknowledgement will be atta attached along with the data instead of sending it separately but when the host has no data to send in that case it will send only the acknowledgement so in a case where the host does not have any data to send then it will not delay the acknowledgement or then it will not stop the acknowledgement in that case it will send the acknowledgement separately when the host has only data to send then it will send only data along with the acknowledgement of the last received frame right it may be possible that the host does not have any acknowledgement to send because it has not received any data till now so in that case it will transmit only the data and it will not transmit any acknowledgement so it will send data along with the acknowledgement of the last received frame right so the last received frame which it has got it will send the acknowledgement of that particular frame along with its data because it has only data to send right so this is how the concept of piggybacking is uh, concept of pig, uh, piggybacking works now with the help of piggybacking as you've seen the avail available bandwidth is used effectively because you are not using separate channels for sending data and uh, acknowledgement right also you are not sending the data and acknowledgement separately so you always uh, uh, you are saving a lot of time because you are attaching the uh, acknowledgement along with the actual data frame and then sending it so your time is also ut uh, utilized properly and the bandwidth is also utilized properly so this is all about piggybacking